Hello, my fellow Wastelanders. I am more to me for a life, and we are back with Fallout Builds. We are working at 10 Pines Bluff for a build challenge. And this is my day two completion. There is no furniture inside. This is just what I've gotten built so far. And yes, it is just my day two. As you can see, I've got things that are hovering, things that are floating, things that really don't make sense just yet. I haven't fleshed everything out. I'm just throwing things in there and seeing what fits. Uh, let's see. Back to where we were. This is the diner and the kitchen slash, you know, all of that. And then we've got the water production. Some security over there. And the hospital over here. Now, what I didn't show was these, because it hadn't been done yet. This is going to be our firing range. Still a lot of details that need to be added in. But I do have it fleshed out, so I had some kind of an idea of where I wanted everything to go to make sure there was enough room. And here's where you can actually pick up some ammo and everything, but of course it's, that's not actually up there. And this is going to be where they they practice some sort of, uh, uh, maybe some like boxing or whatever. I just gotta have these two mannequins standing here so I can remember what this area was for. And then... Up here we have our residence, or bunkhouse, or however you want to say it. And there's going to be something here that I have not decided what. Uh, and here's the bottom floor, which is where I'm sleeping currently. And we are going to go up here. And this is the actual bunkhouse. And right here is a guard area. As I said, this is not even close to being finished. This is me throwing everything down to see what kind of fits. Let me drop down here. And this is going to lead over to another guard area with the floating turret thing, because I haven't put it where it belongs yet. And over here is going to be a, um, a stall for people to sell, the little vendors and everything. And down here is where their Brahmin are going to be, because this is where they naturally go to anyway. So this is going to become the, the area for them. And that is pretty much it. I really don't have a whole lot in here yet. Just kind of like the bare bones of what this settlement is going to be and a lot of stuff floating. And I have already paid a bit of attention to the walling around here. Uh, let's see. Put in some minor details. Not anything huge. Probably a few things that are floating because I haven't gotten back to it. It was just throwing it out as I found it. So I could... Ow. 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 Jeez. So I could find it and make it all the way through the list of uh, barriers. Just wherever I needed to throw them out so I could find them whenever I was ready to situate everything. And this is the back side along with the little security area back there. And there's going to be some more turrets on this side, and it's starting to get dark on me! Do not get dark on me! And a turret area there, and a bit more of this. So this is actually going to be the main entrance to Ten Pines Bluff. This is where most of the traders come in anyway. The back entrance, I have not figured out precisely how I'm going to fix it, but I want it open so it can be used, but I don't want it to be like the main entrance. I don't know, I'm confused about what I'm going to do over here precisely. But as far as the food situation goes, there are a lot of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of plants just sitting here and there, just not really a garden per se. And as soon as more of the decoration gets in, most of the gardening itself, while it's visible now, is probably going to be as like hidden as I can possibly we'll make it so that there will be gardening here, but it'd be very hard for anybody from the outside to see where they're getting their food from. That is my goal. Okay, and I think that is it. Uh-oh, um, I forgot about it back here. There was a little bit... Let's get up these stairs. A little bit more back here. I did put a raised platform with a, uh, a concrete bottom for the person who's going to be doing security up here. I don't have the actual uh, building or whatever, just the floor. But just in case there's a stray bullet, the concrete protects against, you know, stray bullets while people are practicing. And that is pretty much it. Just a quick run through of everything I have got so far. It's actually coming on pretty well. I mean, the bones of this place are just about done. And then the serious work begins. Like, 
learning or relearning rather how to tilt these things so they sit on the ground properly and that getting it out on the ground properly and then of course putting furniture everywhere and trying to figure out precisely where everything is going to go and then luring some more settlers in so that is pretty much the walkthrough to date this is day two in the ten pines bluff build challenge you have a wonderful day a wonderful night and a wonderful five o'clock somewhere bye bye